The Classic of Mountains and Seas is an ancient Chinese book, written before 221 BC. It is respected by many scholars, as an important book in ancient Chinese mythology studies, or even as an encyclopedia of ancient China. The book was written with both characters and drawings. And over 2,000 years, it has constantly attracted numerous studies. Geographic Spaces, The System of Concentric Square the Classic of Mountains and Seas, is a scientific record of geography, which at first glance, vividly documented mountains, rivers, topography, customs, and folklore. But geographers, and historical archaeologists of later generations, were unable to re-present the geographic history, that the book described. It can be seen from all pictures in the book, that the principle of concentric squares, is exclusively favored. In the tradition of ancient Chinese geography, round sky and square earth, is a basic concept. This concept appeared at least 2,000 years ago, and has influenced Chinese geography significantly. Let's have a closer look of the concentric squares systems. Take the five domains square for instance. 500 li formed the domain of the sovereign. From the first hundred, they brought as revenue the whole plant of the grain. From the second, the ears, with a portion of the stock. From the third, the straw, but the people had to perform various services. From the fourth, the grain in the husk. And from the fifth, the grain cleaned. 500 li, beyond the first 500, constituted the domain of the nobles. The first hundred li was occupied by the cities and lands of the high ministers, and great officers. The second, by the principalities of the barons, and the other three hundred, by the various other princes. With that in mind, the structure of concentric square system in the classic of mountains and seas, seen from different directions and angles, can be represented as this, this, and this. Literary value, mythology and romanticism. There are many legends and fairy tales in the classic of mountains and seas, that influence the creation of later literature. From tales of rare animals, to the history of human evolution. The writings in the book showed rich imagination, tinged with romanticism. Legends such as, Jin Wei Bird filling the sea, Kuao Fu chasing the sun, Nu Hua mending the heavens, and, Ho Yi shooting the suns, are all came from the book. At the same time, numerous natural gods, totem gods, and other characters are created in the book, providing rich materials for later literary creation. For example, in the Nine Songs by Qu Yuan, a renowned poet, during the Warring States period, the two royal concubines of Emperor Shuam were directly borrowed from the classic of mountains and seas. Emperor Yao's daughters, e Huang and Nu Ying, married Emperor Shuam together. When Emperor Shuam died during his southern, two ladies went to the south to look for his body. Later, they both died in the Shangjiang River, turning into its protection goddesses. Prophecies and coincidences Mayan prophecy says, that our world has been destroyed, and reborn, five times in total. Amazingly, there are similar records in the classic of mountains and seas. According to the Mayan prophecy, in the Matlactalart civilization, men had three eyes as weapons, to fight off invaders. The third eye is right in the middle of the forehead. And different people have different colors of eyes, including, yellow, green, purple, gray, and brown. Similarly, the classic of mountains and seas describes, in the land of Jigom in the north, every man has one arm and three eyes. In the 5,000-year-old Hom Shan cultural ruins, archaeologists found a jade man in a coffin, which has clear features. Surprisingly, it has an erect eye in the middle of forehead. A similar discovery was made in Shaofom Mountain, in Inner Mongolia. In addition, the Mayan prophecy says, 
that the destruction of the Matlactalart civilization was caused by a flood. While in the classic of mountains and seas, there is also a record of a torrential flood.